Hello and welcome to Fan Part News. My name's Loomis and today I'm going to be bringing you the latest stories in the world of football. Starting with Neymar. Now, he's the most expensive player in the world and he may have to pay the most expensive compensation fee that any footballer's probably had to pay and probably will pay for a long time. Now, unfortunately for Neymar, because he left Barcelona before his contract ended and there was a clause in that contract stating that if he stayed, he would get a loyalty bonus. I believe, according to reports, that there's also a clause there that says if he was to leave pre prematurely to the end of that contract, then he would have to pay up. So now he's looking at a whopping 100 million euros. That's around 88 million pounds to pay Barcelona. It's not looking good for Neymar. All right, so now we're going to go from one Brazilian to another. Now, unlike Neymar, this one is not world famous, not world renowned, but hopefully, for me as an Arsenal fan, one day it will be. Now, who am I talking about? I'm talking about Malcolm. He's a 20-year-old winger who plays for Bordeaux. Brazilian, like I said, very techie. You know, you know what they bring when they come on the pitch. And um, he's been linked with Arsenal. He's been touted as a potential replacement for Theo Walcott or Alexis Sanchez. You know, we both need to, we need to replace both players for Arsenal. And um, yeah, he's in a bit of hot water with his club at the moment, uh, Bordeaux. The reason being, they lost the game uh, last night and after the defeat, he came onto social media and it was a bit too jovial and you know, the fans don't like to see that. So now he's uh, having a disciplinary, I believe they're gonna be, you know, sticking it on him, so to say. It's not, I don't think he, he really cares at this point. Anyway, if he's out the door, um, it's not really the best thing for him to be dealing with now. Trying to, he, I think he'd want to be in their good books to you know, help the move go on to Arsenal. But it's a story that we'll see what happens going forward. Will he even be a Bordeaux player in the next week to care about this? Who knows? Now to complete the Brazilian hat-trick. I'm talking about a legend in the game, Ronaldinho. Or as we like to call him in Jamaica, Dinho. Big baller. He's decided to hang up his boots though. And um, it's a sad day for football. He's one of the greatest players I've ever seen play the game. Before you had this celebration, yeah, Griezmann and that, you had this. Everyone knew that for Ronaldinho for that. He's a legend in the game. So many skills and tricks that I've never seen and haven't seen since he's performed them. And even as an Arsenal fan, I used to hate his guts, but I've got to appreciate the techers from Ronaldinho. He was an amazing player, he's still an amazing player, but um, he's hanging up his boots and he won't be playing professional football anymore. So, sad to see you go from the game, Dino, but much respect, much love for everything you did for the game. So, reports are breaking in Spain now that um, Ronaldo could possibly leave Real Madrid. And of course, Manchester United are touted as the favourites to go and get him. now. So Dan's come out and said, listen, I want to keep Ronaldo, you know, that's, that's still the main man here. We're not trying to sell him. He's had, a, he's had a rough start to the season, though. Really rough start to the season. Four goals in 14 games in the La Liga. They're closer to the bottom of the league than they are to Barcelona. So things ain't really going too well for Madrid right now, man. But um, the they, rumours are that they're open to letting Ronaldo go. But Zidane's stepping in and saying, listen... You know, I go, know it. <laughs> Otamendi has signed a new contract extension with Manchester City that keeps him there until 2022. When Otamendi first came into the Premier League, I think um, there was a bit of mixed reviews about him. You know, he, he was wanted by Manchester United as well. He was quite expensive at the time for a centre-back. And he had a, a bit of a shaky start. You know, people were saying, oh, is this brother even worth the money that we paid for him? But he's done well. Man City are flying now this season, so they're tying him down. Um, something that, you know, certain clubs, Arsenal, <coughs> don't really tend to do with their top players, but they're signing him down to a two-year extension that will keep him at the club even longer. It's a good move for him. Um, he's even said, you know, he loves the city of Manchester. He's happy there. His family are well settled there. So, Otamendi will be in the Premier League for a much longer time. Now, for those that don't know, there's currently a case ongoing um, in the world of football for a former coach called Barry Bennell. Now, Barry Bennell, during the years, between the years of 1979 and 1990, sexually abused up to 48 children. That's reported, so it could even be more. 
Now, his case is currently being heard in court, as I mentioned, and one of the victims came forward and brought to light that up to four of the people he coached in the past have committed suicide, one of those being Gary Speed. Now, in football, you know, parents trust, their ch trust these coaches with their children, and for someone like that to take, take um, what the game's about, you know, educating, training, and just... So there's so many people out there who can say to you that their coach when they were coming up, there was like a father figure to them, a person of trust, someone that was like family to them. That's a position you can't, ab can't abuse. So to hear that someone like this existed in the world of football is sickening. And I just want to see the, them throw the book at him because you need to bun out people like that. And it's a shame, you know, that people have taken their lives and it's possible, I, c I can't say that it was the reason, but it's been um, connected now. In this case, it's, it's really a sad thing to have to talk about just um the victims families you know thoughts are with them it's, it's sad that they have to go through this all again but like i said i hope they throw the book at him but out barry on a much lighter note this one has got arsenal fans like myself smiling theo walcott after 12 years at the club he's gone he's gone to everton for around 20 million pounds you wear the number 11 shirt and with walcott um i had my hopes for walcott he, he was a good prospect, but, you know, he just seemed to hit a glass ceiling and he just wasn't getting any better. He had his moments, you know, he scored some great goals for Arsenal. He's had some great times for Arsenal, but he just, he just wasn't good enough in the end. And the, the money were, that they were paying him at Arsenal, just, it wasn't being justified by the performances. He'd get goals, but there was a lot of other things going on that just wasn't happening. And now he's off to Everton. So as an Arsenal fan myself, you know, I'm pleased to see him go. Like I said, Malcolm could be coming in. So it's, it's a good thing. And 20 million for Walcott, oh, back in the day, he'd probably say it's a steal, but it's, it's probably just about the right money. And there's troops to say Wally Walcott. So adios, Walcott. And, um, but thanks for the service at Arsenal. Good luck to you at Everton. Just don't score any goals against us. It's a January transfer window. And you know the transfer window. One transfer can trigger about six others, right? So... Arsenal fans, is Sanchez, is Sanchez going to City? Well, we know he's not going to City now. Is Sanchez going to United? Is he going to Chelsea? Where is he going to end up? Is Aubameyang coming to Arsenal? All these things are linked. And now we're seeing, listen to this now. If you're a Chelsea fan, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, actually, I'm not sorry, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny, right? So, Michi Batshuayi could be moving from Dortmund. <laughs> so, Michi Batshuayi, yeah? He could be moving from Chelsea to Dortmund, which would allow Bamiyang to go from Dortmund to Arsenal, which would allow Alexis Sanchez to go from Arsenal to Man United, and would also send Mkhitaryan from Man United to Arsenal. And what does that leave Chelsea in the end? They're being linked with Andy Carroll. And apparently Conte's, <laughs> Conte's the one who wants it. Andy Carroll. How many goals has Andy Carroll scored this season? Chelsea have so many sick youngsters all over the world. One's got Loftus, she got Loftus Cheek at Palace. I don't even, I don't know half of them because I'm not a Chelsea fan, but I know you guys got ballers all over the gaff and now you're going to go get Andy Carroll from West Ham. If I was one of them Chelsea sitting and watching the news and seeing this, that man's getting linked with Andy Carroll when you're all the way in probably for Tess or whatever it is, watching, come on man, come on. And apparently Conte wants him, come on Chelsea. I know, I'm not a Chelsea fan, but come on, even, even me, like, even for me, it's a bit like, well, go on. <laughs> Andy Carroll. <laughs> He'll probably score against Arsenal, though, that's no doubt. Anyway, thank you for watching Fan Part News. Make sure you like, subscribe and share. Follow UFF on all social media. That's ULT Football Fan on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all of that. Instagram as well, yeah. I know you all, I know you all on Instagram. You can follow me, Luma7, all social media as well. And make sure you tune in tomorrow. Peace.